Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and dad. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, it's that time of year again. Yeah, my. It's a big, rich town. <laughs> and I just come from the poorest part. The poorest part. Listen, if you all haven't seen us all year, because this is the show that y'all come back to our channel for, then welcome back. Hey, if man. you are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. We do this every week. We're going to hey, ride yeah. power all the way out until the wheels fall off. You know, yeah. there's a little discrepancy of when it's really going to close out. Yeah, but anyway. But we're going to ride it until the wheels fall out, like I said. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button. That rates us here on YouTube. And either way, you've already been counted. You're already hey. here. Go ahead, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Indeed, man. Because we hadn't seen Power since freaking September 9th of last year. So we waited almost a year for this bullshit, get man. We sure did. And we remember last year, Courtney pissed us off when she got on Twitter and said that Angela was not going to be dead. And come to find out, she trolling us the whole goddamn time. I still stand on what I said. Hey. I still say that they need to let us have our moments. When they see us talking about theories on Twitter yeah. or when they come by our videos, because y'all do know they come by our videos and they pick up on <clears throat> what we're saying and they yep. always try to debunk what we're saying if a whole bunch of us jumps on that train. Mm -hmm. Just let us have our yeah, moments. Yeah, let's have our fun, man. Don't do that. I hate when writers and people like that get on there and they try to drive the narrative in the middle of it. I'm like, yes. don't leave, leave it alone. Yeah, just let us, leave let, it alone. Just let us be great for a little while longer, man. Yeah. So, because yeah. if you're anything like me, I almost didn't come back for this little skit. I <laughs> yeah, was like, you know either. what? I'm like, I'm sick of it. Because that was going to be the job before for me to come back to yeah. see if Angela what died. What happened to Angela? Not. But you yeah. made us believe that she was dead. Yeah. But that she didn't die. That she didn't die. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do this season a little bit different. Usually we go scene by scene, but this year we're just going to pick some parts. We're going to talk about what we think uh, really counts and matters over here. Yeah, for real. Um, because we all done watched the show, so let's go ahead and ride it out. So first thing we're going to talk about is this new Gaston intro, man. <sighs> I want the old intro back, bro. I don't I want even feel gangster with this intro. Yeah, and like, no, no shade against Trey Songz. Songz or, or, Trey Songz, or Boogie, yeah, y'all, y'all straight, man. Y'all, you know Trey Songz yeah. is all right with us here in the Virginia, but yeah, yeah, I, I, but, I feel nah. like I want to roller skate and you know give somebody flowers or pay for somebody's next order at Starbucks. Yeah, and even fifty. I don't feel gangster with it. If you watch the freaking Power or uh, Confidential with uh, what's his name, Terrence, uh, Terrence J. Terrence J. And 50 even said that he knew we were going to be resistant to that skit. And yes, we are. Yeah. I'm not feeling it. It's right. not bad. I mean, it sounds good, but it's like... It's, it's a little too clean for yeah, this, it for this gangster. Of, yeah, we need a gangster intro for power, man. I need that deep voice. <laughs> they say it's <laughs> a big rich town. I hey. don't, don't want to hear the Jackson 5 when I come on here and listen to power. Yeah. I don't. I want to go bang, bang. I don't want to go pew, pew. So, in the comments, man, y'all let us know what y'all think about the intro. And I'm pretty sure that y'all think of the uh, intro the same way we feel about and it. And next week, none of us will care. Yeah. That's how. When we get three, four seasons, then we probably only be three talking episodes, about it. Yeah, more. nobody cares. <laughs> but it's no surprise. Y'all to watch this show. We find out that Angela is freaking dead, man. Pushing up daisies. But actually, I came into the season like Angela's going to be here. So, so, even when they said that she was dead, I was like, you know what? It's a bullshit. It's a false report. Just to throw us off. But when I seen her in the body bag. And she had turned colors. I yeah. Said, oh. It's official. She did. Right? Her gone. She, she just ain't got the embalming fluid yet. But it's coming. Hmm. So. Her sister man is like. Totally upset. That's how we found out she was in there. Her sister upset. Ghost is upset of course. If we had any doubts man. That uh, that Ghost loved Angela. This freaking tonight's episode says she, he was deeply in love with this woman. Yeah. He was frantic. When he got to the hospital, they was like, you can't come back here, sir. You stop here. You know, that's bullshit when they do that to us. Yeah. They know we're coming in with our loved ones. If that's that with you, I'm coming back here. Man. But you have legal right to me. Yeah. That's just a piece of coochie. He so, had no legal right to her. So she was like, hey, uh... Are you her? Are you her husband? He was like something like that. Player, you you, you got a whole wife <laughs> over there. Over there, yeah. So, Ghost is friends. He is totally messed up, and you can pretty much see in his eyes, see in his demeanor that he got he want revenge. He want revenge because of what Tommy did, and we were trying to figure out from last season. We was like, 
was was he aiming for ghosts or was he aiming for uh for uh, mm-hmm. Angela? Well, and come to find out, now. it's clear now that he was aiming for ghosts, but he got Angela because Tommy wanted to take ghosts out for pretty much convincing him to kill his daddy, yeah. which all of us thought was a good thing. Because we thought that, well, they thought that Tommy, um, Dad was going to rat them out with the feds. Which we find out was untrue. He was going to rat out Ghost and not Tommy. So when Tommy found that out, that's when he started seeking revenge on Ghost, man. But can you imagine how Tommy feel? And y'all know I got a soft spot for old crazy um, Tommy. Yeah. But can you imagine how he feels? A guy. His mama's bucked up. Yeah. Well, Tommy's bucked up too. And then he finally gets a relationship with this father of his. And they start to bond. And they mm-hmm. start to really love each other. Yeah. And then he had to take his father out mm-hmm. based off of someone manipulating Literally, him. him. Yep. And the person that manipulated him is his <coughs> brother. Yeah. Can you imagine how that feels? Mm-hmm. So Tommy was like, okay, now I missed, but I'm not even mad about it. Yeah. And I can't even be mad about him not being mad about it. You took something from me. So now I took I'm something from, from you. you. Yeah. We good. But here's Crazy. the part that tripped me out. Is when <laughs> Ghost <laughs> got over there to Tasha. And he's talking to Tasha like she's some stranger on the street yeah, talking about I'm, I'm in love with her. It's like The love what? of my life just died. Like, what? She said, so you gonna sit in my uh, face. And say some bullshit like that? Like I'm not your whole wife. <laughs> I said, well, God, I don't. Well, both of them have done some bucked up skit, man. So, so then Tasha I mean, was like, Ghost started it, I'm looking for the love of my life, too. Had, do, have you happened to know if something happened to him, Ghost? Hmm. And he acted like he don't know what the hell happened to him, Terry. Which yep. I didn't like Terry. I, I don't. Yeah, Some he was, was slimy about Yeah, Terry. he was always was slimy, yeah. So, Where did this fly come from? Yeah. He don't want us to be great. <laughs> oh my God. We were so, doing housework today, so he just creeped in. So, one of the highlights of the show, which we know pretty much everything was leading up to Tommy and Ghost crossing paths. Because they hadn't seen each other since the freaking staircase. So the fight goes down, and I got to say that Tommy whooped Ghost's tail, man. You see the way he slammed him up on that goddamn pool table? It, it was, it was. They had I, each other. No, in my I think, I, in my opinion, I think, I think Tommy had him, man. Oh. And so through the whole fight, we saw they was both trying to explain Ghost was like it won't like that, and he Tommy was like won't like that, and Tariq walks in. And Tariq was like, "What the hell? Why what was y'all, y'all fighting, fighting about?" And uh, once again, Tariq started being disrespectful to Ghost, in which none of us was like. Last year was like, we ain't full of Tariq's disrespectful bullshit, man. I know that's your daddy. I know he done bucked over on you, but you still got to show some goddamn respect to your daddy, man. And Ghost was like, hold on. Ain't you supposed to be in school? Yeah, you supposed to be back away up there, man. And he, like you said, being mad disrespectful, like, I'm not the one paying your tuition. Yeah. For real? He told us, like, I came over here to speak to Upper Time. What? <laughs> and Ghost actually had to give him his moment for yep. his uncle Tommy. I said, Yeah, I was like, What? Who you gonna let him get away with that? And you didn't bust him in the back of his head oh, with a shoe? Oh, my daddy would have knocked my whole front out right here. All this shit, man. Gone. I would have had to get dentures next week, man. What the hell was going on right here? I said, But Tariq this season, why he looking more and more like Canaan? Yeah. Like, his whole demeanor is Canaan. Yep. And pretty much his transformation, like we all say he was going to be, you know, go 2.0. I, I truly do believe it. Uh-huh. I mean, we can pretty much see the handwriting on the wall. Um, so pretty much, you know, Tommy's still in his same situation. His organization is still messed up, mm-hmm. kind of getting this straight. You know, he got, uh, what's his name? We can Jason. Know. Jason, back with Jason and then his crew, um, was it 2-Bit and Spanking, Spanking 2-Bit yeah. and the rest of the crew. So he talking to Jason like, okay, hey, go to chat. And um, I want product. I want now. product now. Jason was like, "Oh hell no, we gotta make sure this check on cash." You I know? said, "Did he just treat him like yeah. he was black?" <laughs> yep. That's one thing you know. So I give you a check. You know what? I ain't giving you product until my god don't check clears, man. Until your check clears. He said, "You and goes good." Tom was like, "Yeah, we good." Because because Tommy was like, like, "You know, I need to take some product back to my boys." It's like because you know every time Tommy go back to them, he got another sad story. He empty handed. Uh, yeah, man. And they was like, they got miles to feed. Y'all saw he got back there having no product. He had to kill him, kill no dude. And his friend had to be the one to step up and take his spot. Well, I would have stepped up too because we won't put no bullet in my head like that. Hmm. So then we saw the scene where Ghost was trying to get his revenge back on time. And I was like, 
I think we got the old ghost back. But when he went to shoot, because uh, Tommy was back then getting the, uh, the shipment. From Jason. Because Jason said, your, cle your check cleared. And so what Jason told him to do was like, hey, go do what we talked about. I actually was thinking that they, they were going to set Tommy, Tommy up. up. But he had gave Tommy a hug. Yeah, so and I was it, like. He was like, what the hell's going, going on? on? Yeah. And then later on, we figured out what he had did. Yeah. So when Ghost was out there, Tommy Carr pulling up. He came out there. It looked like an uh, AR. That's what it looked like to me. But it was dark. I don't know. But he started firing and shooting. I was like, shooting Tommy Carr up. I said, is that really Tommy? Because this was like too easy. And he didn't really, really make sure that that was Tommy. Because Ghost don't ever do that. He, you got to make sure if you shooting at somebody, you got to make sure it's them. But on the flip side, Tommy doesn't let anybody drive his car. True. Don't. Yeah, I mean, that for That's sure, true. if Good you point. see the car, it's going to be Tommy. Yeah. He just overfired over the car because he just knew. And I said, well, darn, it's for real, for real. For real, yeah. For him shooting at him like that, man. It won't just that you did a couple of shots. Pop, man, he pop, kept pop, Like, pop, you pop, sprayed pop, the pop. hell out of that car yeah, to make man. sure that he won't have it no open casket. Yep. And then they say, we know, we see Tommy. I yep. said, I said like, what? And Jason was like, I knew that Ghost was still after you. So that's why I did that. He said, what? The hug. Yeah. He got my keys off oh, of my, me. Yup. Wait. <laughs> I said, well, darn, Jason. <laughs> so Jason pretty much proved. He, he saved his life, he man. Sh he yeah, saved he his saved life. his life. He sacrificed one of his own. <laughs> but at the end of the day, can we even still trust Jason? No. No. So even, do you think he did that to throw Tommy off? No, he did that to protect his own organization. Because mm. y'all know that Tommy still has to do a whole lot of cleaning through ghosts. Yeah. So if he was tested to see whether or not him and Ghost were really on the up and up. Yeah, because he kept they saying, weren't, he kept saying, we good, we good. Yeah. Yeah, so if they good. weren't, something like this was about to happen. So Jason yeah. now knows that y'all not good because this motherfucker just tried to kill you. Yeah. And he killed my man instead. Exactly. So what we're not going to do is put our organization in a yeah. compromising situation. Exactly. Don't. I said, okay, Jason, uh, I see you. I like how you did that, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like yeah. how you did that. So the next highlight, we got freaking Mr. Terry Silver is mission. <laughs> I ain't mad. <laughs> Which we all know from last season that Ghost took him out. We right? think. Yeah, we think he took him out. It kind of, it appeared that he took him out when he was down in the parking deck. So Tasha keep calling him. He ain't answering. So we saw the scene when Tasha was talking to her mama. And her mama didn't look the same from last season. She looked a little bit older, but... But anyway, but um, look like a whole new person to me. Yeah, so. <laughs> but it was still her, and know. she was like, "I'm trying to find him." And her mom was like, "In so many words, this is what you get for living the life that you live in." I, I'm not sure how I felt about that. You mama at this point, she's going through a lot. She just lost her daughter. Um, yeah, I almost forgot. Lost her that. husband, and. A you, son acting a fool. Yeah, so yeah, she, you know, and it's still got her life. Yeah, so like, you should show a little bit of, you know, mommy kindness in there with a little bit of truth, but because her mama has been hard on her every time, every scene we've seen, you know, her mama pretty much been hard on her. I'm not in, mad in, at it. In, in, in my case. You're not mad at it? You're here for it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm a sh I am shoot straight from the hip. I don't care nothing about your feelings. So, Mr. Tommy decides that he wants Keisha to get rid of the evidence. From the, the, the to get the to throw the gun in the river, so he yeah, gives he Angela with. that he killed Angela with. So I was like, "This way you're gonna get bucked up." Yeah, I was like, "I don't know if you are to give this to her. She an amateur. She just really coming into the game. She's still kind of scared." So I was like, "Nine out of ten, she's gonna end up being careless." And come to find out when her uh, her and her son were having a conversation, he want waffles. He went in her pocketbook. He was going to see the gun. She started going friend. And I was like, did you really bring the gun home? That's what I was like. You was were like, already outside. Side? Yeah, you should have went to the river immediately. Right immediately and got rid of that gun. She don't took the gun home. She uh -huh. don't slept with the gun overnight. I was like, I mean, that's mistake just, number one. I said, yeah, this is where you're going to get messed up, Tommy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's the weak link right there. So Tommy gives her the gun wrapped up in the cloth. She goes to the river to finally throw it away, and she holding the gun in her bare hands. 
And tosses it in the And room. tosses it in the room. Like two feet away from her. So, this is what I got. This is my theory behind that part. I think that gun is some kind of way going to wash up on shore. They're going to find that gun and turn it in. And it's going to link back to her as the killer of Angela. And, and she's she going to take the fall for everything. Yep. And then she's going to have either two choices. She's going to either have to ride out timing them or she's going to have to take the L. And I... I don't know which one she's gonna do. You say you believe she's just gonna she just gonna I think she gonna, gonna take, take the L because she wanna be down for Tommy so freaking bad that she don't even tell Tommy, I'm here for the long haul. I'm like, yeah. you got a whole son to look for. Look yep. out for. And you wanna be a part of this life? I'm like, okay. <laughs> Keisha, I don't know what you're going through. She's going through midlife crisis. But I no, no, none of this. Yeah. And her son, he about that life too. Yep. I said, when did this little boy get so <laughs> he talking back. Talking about something he want. He missed time and he don't. Yeah. It's a lot. So another highlight in life of, of tonight's episode. Freaking Tamika done got fired, man. <laughs> God. Don't. Well, all of them were supposed to got fired. So now the freaking office under new leadership is dude named Jason. And it looks like I think his name, I think they say his name was Jason. But in a way, it don't even matter. He knew. Yeah, he knew. He come in and said, and so he fired Tamika off the bat. The rest of them was supposed to have been fired. But pretty much we know Cooper Sacks know how to talk his way out of a wet paper bag. So Cooper Sacks said all this bullshit that we have no idea that they were talking about. But in other words, he let him stay on the case to find out who killed Angela. So And this, honestly, I don't even think they really care who actually killed Angela. They're just trying to take down ghosts. Yeah, but they know pretty much that link. If they get who killed her, it's going to get them a step closer to ghosts. But here's the part that tripped <clears> me <throat> out. I don't know if you was going to talk about it or not. But there was a scene where Ghost went to Angela's apartment and just yeah. let himself in. Looked around, did all that. Okay. Yeah. Was... You just had an agent. Yeah. Be and ain't nobody locked down her stuff yet. No caution tape. I mean, no like seriously, exercise. like nobody locked down her stuff to make sure that nothing was tampered with because mm -hmm. y'all y'all believe that ghosts took her out. So, so nobody's yeah. securing her building to make sure. Ain't nobody went in and you, you know, you know dust, he probably has a key. French. You know he has a key. Yeah. So anything that could be evidence against him. He could go in there and get it out. Yep. But I was really confused by that. But anyway. Yeah. So they got a new leadership. Freaking uh, Cooper uh, Sachs is on his bus kit that he determined. Him. Is that he going to find out um, or get the evidence because they all pretty much saying that Ghost did it. But they don't have no evidence. So he said, I'm going to make sure this time. And then also... He convinced freaking um, Angela's sister uh -huh. to do an autopsy. He pretty much manipulated her and said, pretty much all of, because her sister said, this is y'all fault that my sister is dead. Which kind of and kind of not. kind of is. Uh, yeah, but more kind of is. And yeah, Cooper Sack said, yeah, that was our fault. But if you don't let me do the autopsy, it's going to be your fault. And I know when he said that. She was going to sign them papers for that autopsy. Now, I don't know what the autopsy is going to prove. I, yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're allowed to pull the the murder, uh, the bullet out of them if there's no autopsy to trace back to the gun. Because she died know. during surgery. So, you were where the bullet was. So. I don't know. I, 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 uh, I was confused by that one. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, but I, but I guess we're going we're gonna to find out as we can continue to... Uh, to watch. So I think Cooper gonna end up dead because he's still fooling around trying to get Proctor to, to put a much right out ghost. You all know by now that Proctor is not gonna give them up. <laughs> he's too scared of me. Yeah, he's not gonna yeah, he he not gonna put himself at risk. He have a daughter <laughs> and a bucked up ex wife, so he gonna put a much stay where he at. He gonna stay on ghost them side because I guess he might feel like that's the winning side right now. But I don't know. So yeah. We don't know the fate because pretty much Proctor's life has been threatened pretty much the last two or three seasons. I hear it's like, he should be used to this condition by now. <laughs> so, yeah, they talking about giving him immunity if he were to rat them out, but I'm like, no. But he was like ratting me yeah. doing that. That incriminates you too. Yeah, exactly. And all of us can get this bar. He was like, you know, I'll give you a pass if you do this for me. And Proctor was like, 
<laughs> so everybody in there has done something to buck up the case. So yeah. now they're all trying to, like Funky Dundee would say, backpedaling pussy pop yep. so that they can pin all of this stuff on Ghost because they're so confident exactly. that he did this. And this is the one time he didn't do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is the one time he didn't do it. And they don't think that Tommy has enough mm to take Angela out. Yeah. So I don't know. So then we saw, we got to pretty much, you know, uh, have our little rooftop funeral for Kanan. Oh my God, that was hilarious. <laughs> and when Tommy stopped playing that Bones, Bones Thugs and Harmony song, Bone, Bone, yeah. Because that's what Tariq wanted that hour with, yeah. with uh, Tommy for. He wanted to, <laughs> to get these ashes Tariq, up off of him. Tariq was so, like, Tommy. What? Uncle Tommy, what? Because you know he's too young for that. He don't yeah. know nothing about the crossroads. <laughs> So, so why he did the two five scoot that he had it from a he had to smoke Canaan, the Canaan Kush before he dropped, he dumped the ashes, man. I said if he had popped up on you like how high. That's what I said. That's all that how high stuff. Yep. I said, did he smoke him? Yep. And then I thought he was gonna give it to Tariq to smoke out Tommy, but he didn't. Yeah. He did. So yeah, uh, I think we in for a, a good season this season. I just hope they don't start like going all over the place like they, you know, they be on this and then they jump to that and they jump yeah. back to this. Keep us right here. Pretty much this is what I see for the season. It's from all season. Ghost and Tommy is gonna keep on trying to kill each other. Yeah, and um, it's not gonna be easy. Uh, because I forgot to talk. We got to talk about this. That after all this, now all of a sudden Tasha want a divorce. I'm like, you Ben should have, <laughs> y'all should have been out of boys. Season one. Yeah, way back then when the cheating started happening. But ain't it crazy though, that both of them are married to each other and admitted that they just lost the love of their lives. I'm yeah, like, like ain't this on. about a blip? Yeah, yeah. Only on TV because in real life, somebody be dead. I said, no, and all y'all bucked up timing when well, he killed the love of his life. He killed yep. Holly. Now he with Tasha. And I said, Tasha is not a Holly. Holly was a rider. Yeah. We, we can't even say anything bad about that. She was a rider. Now we got Tasha that's trying to prove that she's down. She's like that good girl. Yeah, that's good to girl go going bad. bad. Yeah. And I'm like, she's going to buck it up and she's going to take the fall for it. I yeah. guarantee you. Yep. And we saw that Tasha said that she's going to get even. So she got revenge on her mind. So the, I think it's going to be Tommy. I think Tommy and Tasha are going to link together to try to take out Ghost. I don't know who Ghost gonna link up. <laughs> I think he's just gonna be on his own. And I, Tariq had to look in his eye that he wanted to take out Ghost because when it was on the rooftop, time was like, um, "How you? How would you feel if something bad was to happen to him?" He said, "I don't, and he said, I don't even really know." And then when he was back at college, he was talking on the phone to Ghost, but he was acting nice then. And then when he got off the phone, the dude was like, "You know, put what's going on? Like I thought she didn't like your dad." He was like, "I have to be nice for now." And the guy was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, he planning on taking his daddy out. Yeah, so y'all get that in the comments, man. Let us think what y'all think of this season. Tonight, like we said, I think it was a good episode. It, it, it started off. Yeah, so it started Ooh. off rough out the gate. So. Except for that song. So we're going to see what Courtney and Andre and all the writers going to take us this season. We're here for the ride, straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla.